Hey yo guys, how's it going? Tyler here and today uh, I'm going to go walk, I'm going to go a slight jog and I'm going to bring you guys along with me so that we can have a little chit chat and a little talk about what I've been up to recently which to be honest hasn't been a lot as you've probably seen by like the YouTube and that one singular Twitch stream I managed to squeeze out. So I'm going to talk about why, well we're also going to talk a lot Yu-Gi-Oh because I have some opinions on the current format. Um, so let's go. However, before we do that Guys, I just want to remind you, as always, if you like the video, give it a like. If you love it, give it a share and tell everyone you know about Team Tally today. And if you want to support the channel, always the best thing to do right now is first of all, subscribe if you haven't. And then comment down below your thoughts on the video. All right, make sure that you just comment something if you want to support the channel. Um, even if it's just hashtag for the algorithm to boost us up there. All right, guys, I'm going to go slight jog, bring you along with me and then we'll, t we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not as fit as I used to be. And I wasn't even that fit before, but I could at least run from Magath to here without dying. So, this is great. I feel awful. Who the hell likes exercise? That's not fun. So, I'm gonna catch my breath and we'll get to chit-chatting. Or I'll die, one of the two. All right, so recently I've been feeling kind of crap. I think it all spawned when I decided to marathon Resident Evil 3 on the day it came out, like a month ago and I just decided that I would devastate my sleeping schedule to the point of it actually having a genuine detrimental impact on every other part of my life. And it didn't start off that way, and it eventually it did. So roughly two weeks ago, I made my last video. I posted it last week, but I just haven't had the motivation to make a video. And, and I decided to turn that around. So today we're gonna go take a look at nature for like a minute or two. And then we're talking this format, because this format goddamn sucks. So, yeah, let's talk about my lack of productivity. That makes me feel even worse, because do you know what happens? Cyclist. Do you know what happens when you don't make content on YouTube? The views stop coming in. And if the views stop coming in, the subs stop coming in. And I don't do this for the views of the subs. I do this because it's fun. But it does have a weird impact on you psychologically. To see those numbers going down and I'm a particularly like progress driven person I really like to see progress being made so when I start to like lose that progress it really does bother me even though it shouldn't as I said I don't do this to be famous because it's very hard to be famous as a Yugi tuber it's very difficult and honestly if I was gonna do it to be famous I would do something way easier like ASMR truth is it did make me feel kind of kind of crap and I think I'm over it what I did was I looked at where I am now and I looked at where I was a year ago and ultimately where I was a year ago isn't even a fraction of as good as where I'm at now so even my bad days now are better than my good days a year ago and that in itself is actually incredibly motivating for me because even on a bad day right even when I'm at that low point of the pendulum swing when I'm between the two pendulum scales I know that actually I'm still making progress YouTube's a long game YouTube is a something that you do for a while very very rarely do people blow up overnight and those people their success doesn't always last but what does last is hard work what does last is determination and you guys and team tally give me that if I'm honest so I don't know it's been fun it actually is genuinely really fun to, to be part of team tally and I'm feeling good today I'm feeling really good so when I get home today this is all going to be edited and posted it's currently Wednesday it's going to be posted on Monday with two other videos throughout that week I'm going to get back to my schedule of two three videos a week and I'm not going to waste anyone's time not making content. So, let's talk about the format. So, I'm going to rattle off a couple of monster names. You stop me if you've heard them before. Halifibrax, Mechaphant of Eastorodon, and Linkross. Now, pretty much every big competitive deck runs these in some capacity. Now, you may be saying, well, Tally, but Eldritch. But here's the thing, there is Combo Eldritch, which we're now seeing is probably the better version of Eldritch which is kind of nuts, right? So we're seeing these cards consistently in these decks and what they do is they create such vast amounts of resources and those vast resources are just insane. We are back in a semi-dice roll format because the thing about Combo Eldritch, which by the way, I personally think is the best deck, grinds as well as combos. What the hell is that? There's something down there. What the hell is that? in there. 
nope, I ain't gonna find out today. So yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, the sucky ass format. So stop me if you've heard of this one before. A deck running free tuning, one to free quick draw synchron, and one to free jet synchron for incredible amounts of advantage. Jet Synchron right now is a one card full orcs combo pretty much, depending on extenders. It's nuts, and it's really not nuts. It's not that crazy of a card without Needle Fiber, Halo Fibrax. It really isn't. None of those cards are. Auridon is kind of nutty. Line Cross is definitely nutty. But they're all made incredibly nutty together with Halo Fibrax, which is insane. Yeah, who in the year 2020 decided that token generating cards were a good idea after we've hit so many token generating cards already Konami really hits us I'll fucking do it again and it shows that Konami's not really interested in a balanced healthy format we all know they are interested in shifting cards which cards like Link Cross, Mech Phantom Beast Order 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 and Needlefire, Halo Fibrax well they've been shifted and it's a shame because we've went from like maybe the last year of having definitely formats with a best deck or two definitely there was a little rogue representation that could go up against those decks and now best decks undoubtedly with very little like pushback are Adamantipator Eldritch, some form of Eldritch. And I guess a bigger problem on that is that they are incredibly expensive. Like Eldritch himself, right now, the last time I checked anyway, I'm gonna put on screen how much it is today, it's roughly like 80, 90 pounds. So you're telling me and that's roughly a hundred ish dollars. So you're telling me that for a playset of the Golden Lord, I need to fork out nearly 300 pounds. Like that is for one card in the deck. And then of course there's all the other stuff that comes with it. Then on top of that, let's talk about how expensive the side deck is right now. Free Lightning Storm. Got to, got to play Free Lightning Storm. Uh, free Evenly Matched. Got to play Free Evenly Matched. That right there, <laughs> again, is nearly £300. In fact, probably more than that at this point. And again, that's really difficult for a lot of players to afford. Now, thankfully, we are in a fake online format fake online format in my eyes being where we're playing online exclusively so there is no budget restriction which I guess in some ways is good and it's really fun and it really does show what the best decks are but also it doesn't allow an actual format to form it doesn't allow for rogue decks to try and take uh, spots because why play a rogue deck which usually a rogue deck has the, the benefit of being kind of cost effective on its side why would you play a rogue deck when you can play one of the two best decks? Like, that's simply how it is. And that's kind of disappointing to me. We went from a really good place. I don't think we're in a, an awful place, but like it, it hasn't been fun to watch personally for me as a viewer. So, yeah. And honestly, I think the thing that I hate most is that I haven't been able to like properly sit down and play with friends for a long time. I miss doing stuff like this. You can only play so much Dueling Book and so much Edo Pro before you just get bored and desensitised to it. And like that has had a knock-on effect in the fact that I can't make content if I don't want to get on Edo Pro or Dueling Book. So there has definitely been an element of really missing physical play, which has put me off online play. But this isn't forever. This is going to be, in the span of everybody's lives, incredibly temporary. So that's the big plus here. Now, let's talk about some good stuff because we do love to talk about good stuff on Team Tally. The first good thing I want to talk about with my hair not in my eyes is that despite my lack of productivity recently, I have been rather creative and I've been really interested in making more different types of content that you guys, I hope, would like. So for example, recently I have been kind of theory crafting and putting together what I think would be an actually good enough for locals hero deck for under 150 pounds which sounds like a lot, but that's because there is one or two card choices in there that you could remove with not too much difficulty to bring down to £100. So I've worked on one for going first, I'm currently working on one for going second, and I'm going to bring that to you guys as soon as I can. Then, I'm also going to work on a new Learning a Deck series. The Phantom Rights one got better reception as it went along, which was great, and I think I've kind of nailed down the format that I want for it, so that I think I've got it now. All I need to do is figure out the deck that I want to learn. I'm thinking Mermail because I did a stream for that the other week. By the way, Twitch down in the description below. Just gonna do this. No, I'm not. Yeah, so I'm gonna work on work on that series. Oh God, I'm very far away from home. I'm gonna work on a new learning series and that's gonna be 
important because I do want this channel ultimately to be about learning things. I know I've done a lot on heroes because I know a lot about heroes, but I want to expand that to be able to help you guys play more decks. They don't always have to be meta, like I played Burning Abyss, PK Fire. I'm not too into this current meta, so what's the point in me? learning it other than I guess to teach you guys how to play against it so let me know down in the comments below if you would like to learn how to play against this current meta with a specific deck can't get to all of them but I can definitely have a little chit chat yeah so recently I've had a lot of ideas recently I have been feeling not so productive but that ends today and I'm excited as with many things in life I'm genuinely genuinely excited I haven't sat down and made a video in a couple weeks and I kind of want to do that. So that's that. I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh is in a weird place right now. And much like the weird place that the world is in, it won't last forever. There's hopefully a ban list coming up soon. And hopefully that ban list is going to bring us some unbans. So I'm hoping for a couple of cards. I'm hoping for Astrograph Sorcerer to come back to one. Easy to do. Easy to do. I'm hoping for Double Iris. To, quite frankly, I think that card can genuinely be unlimited now. Like, Pendulum aren't doing anything. The best Pendulum builds actually don't use Pendulum Magicians full stop. So, no real point in keeping them as crippled as they were. Which also means I would probably appreciate Skullcrowbat Joker coming back to maybe one or two. Get some consistency back in my other favourite deck. What other cards can be unbanned? Anyway, guys, um, I'm rambling now. Let's take it to the outro. Guys, that is the video. As always, if you like it, give it a like. And if you love it, give it a share and tell everyone you know about Team Tally today. If you haven't joined Team Tally, you can hit that subscribe button right down there. And if you want to help the channel grow, then feel free to leave a comment. Alright, let me know what you thought about what's in the video. Or, as always, hashtag for the algorithm. And guys, if you want to catch up with me outside YouTube, then my Twitter, Instagram and Twitch are all at TCG underscore Tally. Guys, you have been amazing. I've been Tally. I'll catch you all later. Bye. Can I be honest? I'm pretty, pretty lost right now.